Welcome to Lucas Oil Raceway, otherwise known as Indianapolis Raceway Park. I am Kyle Heyer, here for Sim TV, and this is the final round of the 2018 SCARS Summer Series Super Rallycross. And tonight, we have our final round, our fifth round of this series, and Finney Dakuna is at the top of the board. I'm just going to look at the overall standings here, because uh, pretty much the same drivers have been running in the East and the West, but Finney Dakuna has a 47-point lead over that of Andrew Mickey. And uh, go, go, got to go back another eight points to find Brian Sohn in the number 03 Penguin RC Simulations Volkswagen. So we're setting up here, just finishing up warm-up. We're going to head to five minutes of qualifying to set the grid for the heat races here tonight. Looks like six drivers will be entering. And we have, as always, we have our East race, then our West race coming up just after this. And that'll be the completion of this summer series. And next week we'll be here with Radicals. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't think that's going to be broadcasted, but keep an eye out just in case. So qualifying has begun. And let's keep an eye on your points leader. And that is Finney and Dakuna in that number 94. Let's just ride on board with them for a little bit. Just get an idea of what a lap around Lucas Oil Raceway is like. Certainly a challenging course here, especially with turn one being such, such a tight corner here. You see him... Finian heading down in here, jam the handbrakes, slide it in real tight there, real conservative for Finian. But watch that curb cut there. Don't want to hit any of those tire barriers, nice and slow and tidy. On the gas, up and over the jump, three, two, one. Land it all on all four tires, slide it in for the, the, this uh, dirt right-hander here. Drift it all the way around. Keep sliding, and then swing it all the way back around to the left for another hairpin. Back onto the NASCAR part of the oval. And back onto the front straight. So a pretty quick lap around here. And for Dakuna and the number 94 Sim Motorsports uh, WRX STI, that'll put him in the lead. Uh, Will Salisbury will actually jump to the top of the board by about seven hundredths of a second in the number 77. There he is in his uh, WRX. STI got Subaru colors on that car this week. And he's been quick ever since he started racing here, but uh, only fifth in the standings because he has only started, uh, let's see, he's only started three races. And Dakuna, Mickey, and Sone all have six. Kurt Crum in fourth has four starts. With three minutes left, Fitting Dakuna is now going to jump to the top of the board by almost three-tenths of a second, but Salisbury's going to cut it down to under uh, two-tenths there. And the ticker's showing a little bit different, but on my end, it's showing uh, 1.5 tenths back to Salisbury in 77. And Jason Harrison is jumping in here with Martini liveried Fiesta, number one machine here. And Travis Bennett, another Scars guy in that beautiful Ford EcoBoost livery on that Fiesta there. A lot of Fords here tonight. Brian Sohn in his Volkswagen. I believe it's a lone Volkswagen here tonight. Penguin RC Simulations. Want to give them a big shout out for helping us with these streams. Uh, check out the links to their products in the description below. If you're watching on YouTube, you can, of course, jump to the start of the race in the comments. I'll have that posted after the race. That is true for all Sim TV broadcasts. Looks like Takuna is satisfied. Uh, looks like Salisbury is going to call it quits as well. He'll pull off into the runoff area. Oh, he'll get back out. Will he keep going? Give it one more shot, I think. This is definitely one of the simpler rallycross courses, but it's such a tight technical course. It's not so much wide sweeping corners as it is uh, the tight hairpins, and that's really going to throw a wrench into the, especially the starts of these races. Uh, it's going to make it definitely challenging for these drivers, and Salisbury's going to have an opportunity here to go after that lead uh, Subaru of Finney and Dakuna. He's been so quick and so unstoppable. The only guy that could really give him a run for his money is uh, Kurt Crum, who is not here tonight and will miss out on another race. And I think Crum, had he been here all the weeks, he probably could have uh, definitely give Dakuna a run for his money. But the last uh, time and schedules don't always line up, so here we are. Takuna's 47-point lead over Andrew Mickey, who did not have a great qualifying session and is now in sixth place, uh, about 1.8 seconds off the lead. 
course, that is not what he wanted to see. He's really going to have to win, and Dakuna is really going to have to finish last to, for there to be any shot at this. Although, if Finian has two tough races, the uh, gap could be a little bit more easily made up between the two drivers. So, have to keep an eye on that championship battle. We'll have all that after the race. You see Salisbury just chucking it in the wall here. 40 seconds left in qualifying, and all the cars have pulled off the racetrack, so I imagine that is going to be it. Uh, and if you're watching here, tomorrow night we'll be back at around this time for the Irwindale Sim Series, their first race with us. I believe it's round three or round five. Can't remember, quite remember off the top of my head, but they'll be back with us around 10, 15 Eastern time for a night of late models, legends, and some figure eight stuff is also going to be in there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to have a new ticker that's going to be debuting tomorrow night, so feel free to jump on board with us as well as next Sunday night, Three Wide Truck Series. And then on the 20th, we have a special race, uh, the Chester Bennington 250 at Talladega. Uh, and that is the Drive for Suicide Prevention Series, and we will be running that event for them. 94 laps with the cup car at Talladega, so that should be fun to watch. So qualifying is over, and that puts Finney and Dakuna on the pole for this first heat. We will watch from above as we start this race. I'll wait for those red lights. And a three-wide start for that front row. This is going to be interesting with Takuna on the inside. You really got to get clear of your opponents for that tight and tricky turn one. We're going to watch it from above just so we can keep an eye on everybody. But Andrew Mickey's all by himself back there in that final row. The cars are all gridded. Red low. Oh, we got a jump start by two vehicles. And that's Travis Bennett and also Will Salisbury. Jump start for those drivers. And the one car is going to get an excellent start. That's Jason Harrison. Oh, we got a little bit of contact. Salisbury. Someone's taking a joke. I believe that was Finney and Dakuna. That's not a joke. Actually, that's an interesting decision by Finian. Make that joker that early. Out of front, Jason Harrison has just taken off. But Salisbury's closing in, although he has a jump start penalty, so he's just got to run it out. And hope that he can make up any uh, any gap in the time penalty there. But, oh, man. Around that tight hairpin, Andrew Mickey's just lagging behind. At a, didn't have a great start. And got a battle for the lead. I mean, the 77 and the 1. And a joker for the number 1 car. He will take one. Oh, to the inside he goes. That's the 94. Dakota, the points leader, gets kind of crunched into the fence there. He's trying to get around that... Number one car, but nowhere for him to go. Can he get side by side going up over the jump? Here he goes. Trying to look to the inside. Nowhere to go. He's chasing that number 77. This isn't going to really matter for the championship battle, but definitely for bragging rights. So he's going to tap the wall on the way into the corner. Off he goes. Maybe a little bit more aggressive driving by the 94 tonight. You see, he's going to go for his second joker early in this race. Uh, maybe a little bit more aggressive driving, considering the fact that he doesn't really need to worry too much about uh, his championship standing. As long as he can just finish the race, he'll be okay. And you see Salisbury getting way sideways up ahead. Got a battle for second behind him. Finian's closing in. Let's ride from above on the chopper cam this week. Into the hairpin. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Quarter panel, the bumper. 94 is down to the inside. That's such a hard line to take, but he's already gotten all of his, uh, one of his two jokers out of the way. Actually, he should have both marked. There, there, they just got marked that time through. To the inside he goes. A dive to the inside. Contact between the, the second and third place guards. He's going to fall back in line. Oh, he wants this so bad. You can tell they're closing in on Salisbury, not very far ahead. 
Kakuna's in the wall again. Up and over the jump. Last time by two tenths quicker than that of Jason Harrison. To the inside again. Man, he's quicker. He just needs to find a way around. And it's tricky for him to get there. Put that number one car in the way. And that's the one car going for his second of two jokers. And it's the white flag lap. And Dakuna's going to clear that one car. A little bit of contact with the tire barrier there. Should be no harm, no foul. Meanwhile, Travis Bennett's riding back here in P4. Brian Sohn, Andrew Mickey. But the battle right now is still for... Uh, now almost for the lead here. Takuna's caught back up to Will Salisbury. Can he do anything with it? He's got one corner left. Can't quite get the drive off. And Will Salisbury's going to come home to the heat race. And take the checkered flag. Here at Indianapolis Raceway Park, Lucas Oil Raceway. Action packed for Takuna and Harrison there. Good clean racing for the most part, though. A little bit of contact, but that's what we all expected. Uh, Travis Bennett didn't take both of his jokers, so I don't know if he'll receive a penalty for that. Neither did Andrew Mickey, unless it's not showing until now. Oh, now they're showing up. Just took a second. Bennett did get a penalty, though, for not taking his jokers. Checker flag is in the air for that heat race. And now a countdown will begin for our feature event. So we have a short warm-up here before our race. And Andrew Mickey right now uh, is going to have to rebound from that poor heat race effort. Riding on board with him now, heading towards that tight and tricky turn one. A little bit of handbrake application. It's very easy to go into the tires there. You can throw it in there a little bit too hot, and you'll find yourself door first into the tires if you're not too careful. But Will Salisbury uh, will be starting on pole for this race. Good effort by Will to uh, stay out of the mess. I do wonder, though, if his uh, jump start will affect his grid placement. Well, I guess we'll find out shortly. The time penalties are not visible to me, so it's going to take a little bit to find out. We'll just have to wait for him to grid up and go. Let's see if we can just catch in the wall there. Not a very tight track here. Also, you see him grabbing a tire barrier. Compared to Sonoma, where we were last week, uh, this is a very tight, tricky technical track. Uh, although it's a lot simpler in construction, it's really just two hairpins with a chicane thrown in there. Uh, and, a, and a one or two wide corner, so nothing too f phenomenal there. But with 20 seconds left in warm-up, we'll grid these guys up. And that time, Mickey got a little bit better lap time. That would be okay for a race pace if he could just hold that. So warm-up will complete. Travis Bennett jumps into second. Checkered flag is in the air for warm-up now. And we should be getting ready to start this event. All right, time for your feature race. And it looks like Salisbury did get a time penalty there. So it'll put the number 94 of Finian de Kuna on pole for this race. And we're going to just ride from above here while we wait for the lights. Six cars that are all on track. It's time to go racing here at Lucas Oil Raceway for the season finale of the Super Rallycross East Series. The red lights are on. We're waiting for them to go off and the green lights to light up. Green flag in the air. And off they go towards turn one. And Dakuna's already going to lose the lead here to that number one car. Oh, it's going to be a tight battle heading down towards that corner. Salisbury takes advantage of it. Here comes Dakuna. He's going to take his joker. As is Andrew Mickey. Into turn one, tight battle contact between everybody, basically. And the one of Jason Harrison gets away. Salisbury and Mickey contact. Mickey's going to run wide. Side by side. Back for fifth place. 
Here comes Travis Bennett to the inside. Can he make that stick? That's not going to work. Contact with the wall bounces off it like a ping pong ball, and uh, that's going to lose him a spot or two. And up front, Takuna is closing in on Harrison for that lead. Wow. Jason Harrison takes his uh, first of two jokers. Oh, and that, that just spits you out in such a bad spot. He's on the wall. Salisbury's going to get caught up in it. Oh, big lag there. Not sure what that was all about. All clear out front. Well, that number 94. The one car of Jason Harrison is not too far behind. Oh, not a great exit for the number one. This joker almost seems slower to take. Uh, then the quicker way around and see Takuna going to bypass at that time. And the number one car, Jason Harrison, is going to take it. And I think he's actually going to lose a little bit of ground. So he's about a second back going in. And when, by the time he comes out, 2.1 seconds is the difference. See, Travis Bennett's got some right side damage. Andrew Mickey has fallen behind. Oh, that was just a missed corner there. And side by side, this is for fourth place between Brian Stone and Travis Bennett. Man, Bennett gets on the binders just to get out of the way of the 0-3 because that was never going to work. Down to the hairpin from the helicopter cam. Zone goes wide to the inside. Look at Andrew Mickey just sending it in there. Let's get a replay of that. There's a replay of the number 86 Bombshell Motorsports Ford Fiesta. Just sends it in and just chucks it into the corner. A little bit late on the transition there and just misses and pretty much comes to a complete dead stop. But out up front, it's this man, the Sim Motorsports number 94 for Finney Nakuna. We have a battle for second place between the 77 of Will Salisbury and the one of Jason Harrison and the pass is complete. But no, here comes the one back to the inside. And the 77 is going to come back looking again. Harrison's completed both his jokers. Now Will Salisbury's going to take his second of two. To the inside. Are they going to make contact? Oh, Salisbury was very nice to the to Jason Harrison there, and, uh, Harrison there and got caught up on... Oh, that was just a mess. Well, that tire barrier's in the way. One car was gifted a position. And it looks like Brian Stone has actually retired his vehicle. Let's see if we can find out what caused... The retirement, oh, definitely, that's not good. Oh, into the tire berries, goes up and over, rolls it. Uh, so you can get another angle on that, maybe from an onboard. Yeah, Brian Stone was not having a great day. He's actually second to Dakuna in the Rallycross West series, just couldn't get on the brakes enough, rolled it over. And that is a retirement for the 0-3. Meanwhile, up front, a seven-second lead for Dakuna. Here comes Harrison. A couple more seconds back to find Salisbury, then Travis Bennett in the Ford EcoBoost Fiesta. And, of course, Andrew Mickey with a severely torn-up right side to that car. Not the prettiest-looking car I've seen all day. And there goes Dakuna sliding by with four laps to go now. This track unique uh, that you can pretty much see all of it from the front stretch main grandstands. And you can see that far hairpin kind of on the other side of the circuit as we're tracking. That's the 86 there. And here comes the 94 into the picture. And they'll pass each other. A little nick on the wall there for the 94, but we'll keep it intact. Had it coming to three to go this time by. And a pretty well in control race for Finian. Still has to take one more joker, as you can see on your screen there, to the bar on the right of the ticker. A little bit of handbrake application. Wow, jerky handbrake application, but definitely tucks it in tight up and over the curbs. Over the jump. That's the number six of Travis Bennett that just went by, and we should see Andrew Mickey here in a second. 
there he is, off to the left. Nice little nose in the barrier again for Finian, just uh, tearing up that equipment just a little bit. No harm, no foul. Just a battle scar. Coming out of two laps to go for that Subaru. And it's, it's, it had definitely has been dominant. Now keep in mind that Takuna started the season in the Fiesta and transitioned vehicles. Oh, contact with the tire barrier there. He's definitely taking advantage of the track limits now, kind of exploring the quick laps. And his best lap time, wow, this is this is a stunner, folks. His best lap time is a 42.6, a 42.654 to be exact. That is pretty quick, although it's not the quickest in the race. Will Salisbury in the 77 actually has the quickest time with a 42.605, but has been kind of out of commission. Brian Stone's back on the racetrack uh, a couple laps down, two laps down to be exact. Oh, contact! The 77's in the wall hard! Contact back with a 0-3. A little bit of RG bargy there. He'll get back going, but that was kind of an aggressive and disastrous set of corners for that third place number 77 STI. Meanwhile, up front, Finian has taken the white flag. He's got one more lap here at Lucas Oil Raceway to take the Scars Rallycross East Series Championship. And he'll have a chance to wrap it up in the next race in just a few minutes' time. Out of the final corner, the number 94 Sim Motorsports Subaru WRX STI Finian Dakuna is going to bring it home and win here at Lucas Oil Raceway. A dominant summer for that vehicle. Jason Harrison is going to bring home a second place finish. Great for him. Will Salisbury is going to bring home third. Travis Bennett still working the far side of the course in that EcoBoost Fiesta. Just sending it for a drift in the final corner. And Andrew Mickey is already off the track, but he will come home in fifth place. And it looks like that is going to be it for the East Series here at Lucas Oil Raceway. We'll be back in just a moment with your winner, Finian Dakuna. All right, we're here with your Scars Rallycross East Championship winner, Finian Dakuna, and that number 94 Sim Motorsports WRX STI. And Finian, uh, pretty dominant couple races for you, but you still have another race left here this evening to wrap up the overall championship as well as the West Championship. But tell us about that race. Yeah, I thought it went uh, pretty well. Could have gone better. Um, really, the heat, I messed up the start completely. And my start on the second, on the feature, wasn't that great either. I fell back to third. I think it's just really hard to start on pole on this track. Just the way the turn is, that you kind of get pinched down. And But, uh, yeah, once I started getting going and made some passes for the lead, I kind of just took off and never looked back. Yeah, I want to know about the Joker here, because at this track, it's a little bit unique. And I was watching the, the differentials and the gaps, and it seems like the Joker here is actually kind of slow. Uh, in comparison to other jokers around this uh, and other circuits. Uh, your strategy today was to kind of take him out of the gate, which is something we haven't seen you do lately. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't have taken it normally, but uh, on that first heat, because uh, I was starting on pole, so I was on the inside line, uh, I figured I could just take it normally, but uh, I have a higher risk of crashing, so I thought, let me just take the joker 
uh, fall back on the inside and then take the quarter and just see where everyone goes so we don't pile up. All right, Finny, well, I'm going to turn you loose. You got one more race to win tonight and hopefully bring home two more championships to total everything to three. Uh, it's been a very good season for you, and we'll hopefully talk to you in about a half an hour time. Yep, thank you. All right, so I'm getting notifications that the point standings for the E-Series should be up to date. So let's find out what the actual points were for the E-Series. And it looks like Finian de Kuna took home that championship by a pretty significant margin. Uh, 47 points over Brian Sohn in that 03 Penguin RC Simulations machine. Uh, I also just got notification that the overall standings are updated, and that's really what we're interested in for the rest of the evening. And it looks like he's got a 50-point lead over Andrew Mickey, so I'm pretty sure that makes this pretty much unlosable for that driver of the number Sim Motorsports 94. So uh, it was a, definitely a good race for Finian. Uh, we're going to keep this post-race short because we got another race coming up here in just a few minutes. We're going to make the post-race for that a little bit longer. Uh, we'll be back up live in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching us here on SimTV.